Here with Melly Rodriguez of the Minnesota Crooks and Volleyball team. Just talk a little bit about your story coming from Costa Rica to, to UMC to play volleyball. Uh, first off, uh, just how was it kind of with the recruiting process that brought you, you know, from originally Costa Rica, obviously, to junior college in Colorado to here? Well, um, since I was in high school, I knew that I wanted to come play in the States and study here because it's just um, the level's like higher and it's much easier to play and study at the same time in America than it is in Costa Rica, I feel like. So um, during my like, even from like my sophomore year, I was just like looking into schools and then I was able to get an offer from my junior college which I was very lucky to have and then um, I was like very excited because you know like I was gonna um, make my dream like come, become reality so mm -hmm. um, I went to Otero Junior College mm -hmm. and then when my sophomore year came around that's when I started to contacting other schools so the recruiting process had to like start all over which was a little um, little hard <laughs> because it's always like a very long process and you kind of have to do it all over again so but I was able to get in touch with coach Sarah and then we just like we were able to talk and get everything um get everything done so I'm very happy that now this is my home that's awesome yeah. um talk about the just volleyball in Costa Rica how how competitive is it and how does that compare to what you're seeing um with Division II uh, volleyball, obviously, in the best conference in Division II. You know, you got to see the nine-time national champion in the last 11 years, Concordia, this weekend. So you kind of seen the top of competitive volleyball at this level. Yeah. Um, well, I would say that I definitely feel that it's much more competitive here. Not necessarily only, like, in this school, but just, like, all around mm -hmm. um, the country. But um, there's obviously, the, it's not that the level in Costa Rica is not, um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, but it also depends like um, which team you're part of and everything. Every team is going to have different, um, like the way they're being coached and the way um, everything is just planned out. It will be different for everyone. So I just feel that I do see more competitiveness here than back home. So I really, and that's what I was like looking for when I was coming to the U.S. I just wanted like a higher level and more competitiveness, definitely. Talk about your background in the sports. I believe both of your parents have a background in volleyball. Mm -hmm. uh, just what was it like growing up and uh, just how excited are they that you got the opportunity to, to play um, the sport you love in, in America? Well, yes, both of my parents played volleyball. Um, my mom, she played for the national team, and she also played club, and then my dad, he just played club, and, well, they, um, they've always been, like, very supportive of, of everything, especially, um, with me being in volleyball, and just when I talked to them about coming here, and then, that was, like, that's the future I kind of wanted. They were like a hundred percent for it so it's very good to have that kind of support system and they were just like very excited when I first um, got the news about Otero they were super excited they were able to come up with me and they like got to see the school and everything um, and when they found out that I was gonna come here they were a little bit worried about how cold it would get and everything you know because it's like completely different weather from back home but um, they were still very excited and very happy that I would have this opportunity to meet a new state, to meet new friends, new people, to be part of a new team, so they were very excited. It's got to be tough for them at times, obviously, being back in Costa Rica and you here. Um, uh, since you've moved to the States, have they gotten any opportunity to see you? I do know that they watch you on the live stream. How how much does that help them keep, you, keep connected to what you're doing especially on the volleyball court yeah well um sadly they haven't been able to been up here yet mm -hmm. but hopefully they will mm -hmm. um but yeah definitely technology is just so big right now and that's that has helped us a lot not only do, are they able to like watch my games like live but you know facetime i can like facetime them every now and then so it's just easy 
it's almost as if they were here, but not quite. But definitely having the live streams is very, um, very helpful because right after the games, they're always like text me like, oh, you guys should have done this, or it was so good when you guys did this, or, you know, they're always there giving me advice and things that maybe we should do next time or something that we should try. So I just think it's really good that we have that. How big's the adjustment been? You talk about a little bit of the weather um, coming from Costa Rica, which is <laughs> what not far from the equator to yeah. <laughs> here. Um, yeah. It's got to be a pretty big adjustment, and then also, you know, just culture, I'm sure, and a lot of the different things being being in northern Minnesota versus versus in uh, Central America. Yeah, well, it's a huge change because well, first we don't have snow at all, so. Um, when I started telling people that I was going to come here to Minnesota, they're like, well, you're just going to expect, like, the coldest weather ever, you're going to have so much snow, but, um, my first time seeing snow was in Colorado, mm -hmm. and I actually, like, loved it, so I get very excited when it's going to snow, but everyone here is always like, trust me, you won't get excited anymore when it's, like, January, and it's, like, all white, you're going to get tired of it, so, um, I don't think I will, but, I mean, everyone tells me that, so... I don't know, but um, it's definitely a little bit hard, but I know that I can like adapt and adjust to it, definitely. How much is it, how much have you tried to get connected with the international community here and other people from, you know, Latin American countries and how much have they helped you kind of make this feel like home along with your teammates and your coaches that I'm sure have helped you along the way here as well. Yeah, um, with the international people here, I haven't, well, especially now in season, I haven't really had the time to mm -hmm. participate in different events they do or um, even like doing, going to meetings or anything like that since I'm just like so busy right now. But I definitely w would like to be, to be more involved, um, maybe like next semester where it's a little less hectic, I would say. And just like my whole team has been like so welcoming since day one. They even reached out like during the summer when I first committed. They all like texted me and they were just like, it was it was very nice to know that you know I would be here surrounded by really good people. They all support me, and they know like if I get homesick or anything, I I'm gonna have them to like rely on them and they're gonna be able to like comfort me and everything. So. And not only like my teammates, but my coaches as well. They've been a great, great support system for sure. What are you trying to go into in terms of your field of study here? And just do you think after you do graduate here, you'll try to pursue it here in the States or go back home to Costa Rica? Um, well, I've definitely been thinking after this, I'd uh, maybe like to look into grad school for occupational therapy. But that's just like one, one of like the options I've had. But um, I would definitely like to stay here if I get like a job opportunity or anything. I mean, you never know what could come up, you know. So if anything like that comes, then I would definitely take it. I wouldn't mind staying here at all. Um, and not necessarily Minnesota, but like any place, mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind it. But um, after a few years, I think I would like to go back home, for sure. What is the thing you miss the most about being back home? Um, I'd say probably the food. Yeah. Yeah, the what's, food is completely What's different. your favorite uh, Costa Rican cuisine that um, you miss? Well, there's something called gallo pinto, yep. which is, we, well, you can eat it for anything, but that's like our typical like breakfast food, and I, I miss it a lot. My mom would like make it every like <laughs> Sunday morning, and it was just like, you knew it would be there, like, set ready for breakfast, mm. so I miss that a lot. What's the American food that you've learned to love in your few years between Colorado and here? <laughs> um, oh, I'm not very sure, because, like, I mean, I guess, mm, I just like to eat, when, when we're here, I really, like, my favorite food is sushi, so... Mm -hmm. Like, I've had sushi here, like, at Grand Forks, I've had it, but, I mean, American food, I'm not sure. I mean, I really like pizza, so... <laughs>